Although pressure washers differ from model to model, they all operate on similar principles. In this video, we will address how pressure washers work, as well as common problems you may encounter. Unlike air, water cannot be compressed. When pressure is applied to it, water will push outward in every direction equally. Pressure washers use this principle to create a high pressure stream of water that can be controlled by the operator. A pressure washer consists of two main components, a power source and a pump. The power source can be an electric motor or a gasoline engine. The pump may be an axial pump or triplex pump. Although they may look dissimilar, both pumps use three plungers to regulate the water. Most pressure washers use a four-cycle engine to drive the pump. Similar to an automobile engine, four-cycle engines run on gasoline and have a separate sump for oil. To start the engine, the start switch must be set to the run position and the starter rope pulled. On most models, when the starter rope is pulled, the starter engages the drive cup on the flywheel and rotates the crankshaft. The crankshaft connects to the piston, which moves up and down within the cylinder as the crankshaft is turned. The rotation of the flywheel and the linear movement of the piston begin the ignition process. The flywheel has permanent magnets built into it, and as it rotates past the ignition coil, a magnetic field is created. The magnetic field induces electricity, allowing the ignition coil to send voltage to the spark plug. Meanwhile, the intake valve opens as the piston travels down the cylinder, creating a vacuum which draws fuel and air through the carburetor where it mixes before entering the cylinder. This action is called the intake stroke of the engine. Next, the compression stroke takes place as the intake valve closes and the piston travels back up to the top of the cylinder. The spark plug now fires and ignites the compressed fuel and air mixture, which forces the piston down, creating the power stroke. The momentum of the spinning flywheel provides enough force to push the piston back up. The exhaust valve opens and the combustion gases exit through the muffler. This is called the exhaust stroke. The engine will continue to run and repeat these four cycles until it is shut off. Many engines have a choke on the carburetor to assist with starting, especially when the engine is cold. The choke will temporarily restrict airflow through the carburetor so more fuel can enter the cylinder. In addition to the choke, a throttle lever allows the operator to control the speed of the engine. The higher the engine speed, the more pressure the pump can create. If the engine does not start or it runs improperly, the most likely cause is a defective spark plug or a restriction in the carburetor that prevents the proper fuel and air mixture from entering the engine. The carburetor can be cleaned, but it often needs to be replaced. Be aware that pressure washer engines are designed to use gasoline with no more than 10% ethanol. Gasoline with higher levels of ethanol can be corrosive and attract water, which can cause starting or running problems and may damage the fuel system. You should store the gasoline in a clean, sealed plastic container approved for fuel storage. If equipped, close the vent when not in use and store the container away from direct sunlight. If you anticipate storing the fuel for longer than three months, consider adding a fuel stabilizer when you fill the container. The engine crankshaft extends out the bottom or side of the crankcase and connects to the pump. The pump consists of three plungers that operate in a similar manner to the piston in the engine. The plungers may be driven by a rotating cam, or they may be in a line and operated by a pump crankshaft. As each plunger travels upward, it draws water through an input check valve. As the plunger travels downward, the water is forced through an output check valve. The water flows through the unloader and output pipe on the pump to the gun. When the trigger on the gun is held, the pressurized water exiting the pump flows through the hose and wand to the nozzle, which creates the high pressure stream. When the trigger is released, the water flow stops. The unloader detects the increased pressure 
and a spring-loaded valve opens a passage in the pump so the water can circulate back to the inlet pipe. This feature allows the engine to run while the pressure washer is not in use. Over time, the water circulating inside the pump gets hot. If the operator leaves the pressure washer running for an extended period of time without activating the trigger, a thermal relief valve will open and discharge the heated water so cooler water can enter the pump. Some pumps will also have a chemical injection port on the output pipe in order to introduce detergent into the water stream. For this feature to work effectively, a low pressure nozzle must be used to draw the detergent into the hose and output pipe. Problems that occur with pressure washers are often the result of insufficient water supply or the operator not purging the air from the pump before operation. Air can be compressed, and when this occurs within the pump, the check valves, plungers, and unloader can become damaged, which results in pressure loss and leaking. Some pumps are sold as a complete assembly, while others allow the check valves, O-rings, and plungers to be replaced separately. Be aware that most triplex pumps require oil to be added and changed periodically. Attempting to run the pressure washer without oil will result in the pump failing, so follow manufacturer's recommendations. To help protect the pistons and seals on the pressure washer when in storage, you should consider using a product like Pump Saver. Repair Clinic has a solution for many of the problems you may be experiencing with your pressure washer. To find a complete list of compatible parts, you should enter the appropriate model number in our website search engine. Keep in mind that the pressure washer and engine usually have separate model numbers. To find parts such as the carburetor or spark plug, you will need to enter the engine model number. To find a replacement pump or hose, the pressure washer model number will be required. Our site also has an extensive selection of instructional videos to assist you, covering topics like part testing, disassembly, and part replacement. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy.